Hey guys, yes, it's that British guy again from Red, White and Blue, PH. So today I'm just going to share with you how I make vlogs on my motorcycle. Yeah, that one sitting back there because so many people, I read comments about uh, what cameras do you use? What microphones do you use? Do you use a cell phone? What are you actually using to make your videos? I'm actually, I'm recording right now on just an iPhone 13 because I'm going to use this iPhone 13 to make this vlog to show you how easy it is to get good quality footage without having to use expensive equipment. But on the other hand, when I make my normal vlogs, I'm using a lot of equipment on the motorcycle and I'm going to show you exactly what that is, what gives me good audio, good video, stabilization, and believe me, it's been trial of error and it's been a bit expensive. But hopefully I've been bringing now better and better quality footage over the last three or four months as number one, I learned how to use software for editing. Number two, how I've learned to set up my cameras correctly. And number three, get the audio to sync using multiple cameras at times for shooting those particular videos. So anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the bike. I'm gonna show you the camera setup, which I normally use and why I use it. So looking at a GSX S1000 GT, you can see that there is a problem straight away for vloggers because normally we have uh, drop bars, so there's different places to mount cameras. This bike is quite sleek in design with lots of fairings. So I did have a bit of an issue about where I'm going to mount my cameras, but you can get over that by using the right equipment. So if I start to walk towards the bike, one of the first problems I had was where am I gonna mount my forward looking camera. And so I'm showing you exactly where it is. I did not want to put it behind the windscreen because you get glare coming through and that'll go into your lens and spoil a potentially great video view. So I actually was in Australia a few months ago and I found this clamp, let me just get out of the shadow. I found this clamp from GoPro, which goes up to this stem and then also onto the camera and this, can be moved anywhere I want to actually place it. So for a perfect forward view, I put it right there. And even if I come from a rider's position, so I'm sitting on the bike and I'm sitting right about here, my hands are on the handlebars about here. Is it an issue for me to push the, push the play button or the record button on, on the GoPro? Not an issue at all. One push, and I have the volume high, I can hear it through my helmet, it goes beep, beep, beep. I see a red light come on, I know I'm recording. The only issue is if you are in heat, and here it is tremendously hot, if you stop the bike and you don't have the breeze, the cameras will overheat and they will shut down. So I try not to record while the bike is stationary too much, maybe just some short shots uh, with the bike, but uh, I try not to overheat the cameras because it can ruin a really, really good day when you're making a video, which is oh, so young. So let me show you what I'm actually using as in wireless microphones. Now this is Godox. This is a one receiver, two microphones. They can be attached to your lapel, which I often do, or they can be attached to your helmet with no wires in between. You have a chin, a chin strap, you also have chin padding it clips on really really tight and gives you some great audio let me take one of these out and show you how small these are so a clip on the back this this is a really strong clip i've never had a problem yet certainly on the straps i clip it in the mic is there power gain so so easy to use connects via bluetooth directly to your gopro especially to a media kit so this is the receiver i mean you'll see how small that is how compact that is all it has is camera in audio in but if you plug the camera in it picks up the audio straight away power button you can plug it charge it independently via lightning c or you can charge all three at the same time inside the box and then you have the gain buttons on the side i don't need to mess with those too much all i do is i place the camera or should I say, should I place the receiver directly on top of the media kit, which goes with the GoPro 9, 10, 11, which is basically this sort of housing 
which the GoPro camera sits inside. Then Bluetooth directly to my motorcycle helmet and I don't have to worry about any single wires. And I'm getting audio clarity perfect every single time. And one of the things that made me change and really look for the right equipment was because I had some comments saying, hey, hey man, that was a great video, but I can't hear you talk. Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. So that's kind of embarrassing in a way. Um, I thought it was okay. So I thought let's invest and get myself some decent audio equipment. So wireless, especially when you're riding a motorcycle, that is the way to go. And I do all of my vlogs on my own. Um, I don't have a person holding a camera for me, so I might set up a camera 20 meters away and then because I have the Bluetooth connection, I can then talk to that camera from a distance uh, or talk to two cameras at a distance and it's picking up the audio perfectly. I can go 30 meters or 40 meters and it's still picking up the audio via Bluetooth extremely well. And the batteries on those audio devices, the microphones, will far outlast the memory card you're going to have on your GoPro or whatever other camera you're using. Now I've seen a lot of people use just uh, cell phones for doing vlogs and uh, depending on the phone, depending on the camera quality, uh, they just they, they mount the phone on the front of their bike, uh, they just put in the regular microphone earpiece and boom off they go on the bike they do a ride yes it might be forward looking maybe they'll switch the camera view it might be backward looking for a little bit but they get some great quality um it's amazing you can do it on a very very low budget or you can spend some money if you want to make some serious vlogs uh, something which is entertaining can be watched in high definition on a tv um, but it's not that hard to do uh, a little bit of time a little bit of investment of your time, well, actually a lot of investment of your time on the editing. Uh, it's not just a case of going out there and shooting. It's a case of uh, then going back and then downloading everything and stitching videos together, getting the sound correct, getting the lighting correct. Because of course, every condition you actually shoot in, the lighting changes constantly. And if you look at me right now, oh, I talk about the heat here in the Philippines. I am sweating like a racehorse after a derby. I'm telling you, it is so, so hot. I was using my iPhone earlier to record this video, which I wanted to do the whole video on an iPhone to show you. It overheated. It overheated in five minutes. And that's because the sun was just hitting the back of the iPhone. The iPhone case was black and boom, she went out. And there's a very good chance that this GoPro, because I'm holding it, there's no breeze. This GoPro could actually cut out on me pretty soon so I want to try and get this done as quick as I possibly can so there you have it guys that's part of what I use for the bike but what I also carry for the bike I'm going to show you which I put over there for now because I didn't want to spoil the view of the bike I love that bike I love the color I don't want to spoil the view of the bike showing you the camera setup but other things I carry in the bag and the bag is the backpack I carry when I go off and do my shoots around Luzon and northern Philippines. So let's go and have a look what's also in that bag. So I mentioned about what's inside the bag. Well, there's a lot actually. I've shown you a couple of cameras which are on the bike, but then there's this whole assortment here which I have to put into a backpack and you have to make sure it's a waterproof backpack. Hey guys, don't just get any old backpack and throw your camera equipment inside there because you're gonna regret that if you're suddenly caught in a big downpour. So let's have a look a quick look at the equipment. So I carry wireless headphones. Why do I carry wireless headphones? Because sometimes I wanna to listen to the audio and the quality I've actually got from a particular shot. I can do that on the fly. I can transfer it to an app on my iPhone, have a quick listen to see if it's something I want to use. On the motorcycles going past, pick up the sound of that. And there's one, two, three more coming. Sorry about that, but uh, hopefully you can still hear me. I'll let these bikes go past. Hey guys, come and star. Come and star. Always friendly, huh? So a good, a good backpack. This was a GoPro backpack, especially made for basically, I wouldn't say for riding, but for keeping your, wow, well, those motorcycles are loud. Um, especially made for keeping your, your equipment inside a waterproof con compartment. So that, that's, that's important. So headphones, backpack. And then there's the, the drone. This is a DJI Mini 2 um, with three batteries. Uh, fantastic. I mean, I can put this up in the air for about 30, 40 minutes on one battery, uh, which times three, 
uh, that gives you an awful lot of airtime, uh, also a lot of recording time, and then you cut, cut and paste. So you never see like an hour and 20 minute video just flying. But it's nice to give a view of, you may be on a ground zero location showing what surrounds you and beautiful, but it's also great to show video of, from above showing the area surrounding where you are. And maybe that it's so tropical and maybe or so remote or there's rivers running past which you didn't even notice were there until you get your drone up and start having a look around so a drone is another very important piece of kit for me and then it's all the bits and sundries it's the cables it's the clips it's the extra memory cards it's the tripods it goes on and on and on i mean you can make it as complicated as you like you can make it as expensive as you like you could have a production crew coming along with you. Great if you can do it, if you can afford it, to have people who are experts in taking video from certain angles. Um, fantastic if you can have somebody mix your videos for you, do all the editing. But I try and do everything myself. It's more of a hobby. Um, I've mentioned before that I retired, so it's more of a hobby for me. So I actually enjoy the learning process. I don't enjoy it when I accidentally delete my files. Um, that's a really a shame and happened to me last night actually with one video and oh I wouldn't say I was the happiest chap in the world but I got over it doing another video today so that's some of the equipment I'm putting in my backpack including the equipment on the bike if it's not already mounted when I actually do my videos so what am I trying to say at the end of the day if you want to have fun whether you want to share it on YouTube Instagram with your friends or just for your personal diary you can make videos as long as you've got the time you've got the vision you've got a plan uh, there's no point just picking up a camera and saying okay I'm gonna go make a video right now and uh, you don't really know what you're going to do it's gonna look a little bit chippy choppy not so great uh, maybe there's no flow there's no purpose to the video hey boy whatever you want to do you can do it with a cell phone you can do it with a very, very cheap camera. There's some great cameras on the market. My preference is GoPro because of all the accessories which fit the GoPro perfectly. That's my choice. Um, and I get, uh, I find that I get the best results from that. I could go steps up, but I'm not ready for that yet. Maybe in years to come, health being well, then I'll bring you some even better quality footage. You never know. Maybe one of the kids around here when they retire, might get them to carry my camera for me and uh, learn how to do videography. Let's see. But uh, I'm enjoying it and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. A cell phone point and shoot. I uh, know there's a little bit more that goes into it. So it can be a sports bike. It can be a touring bike. It can be a scooter. It doesn't really matter. If you have the passion, you have the drive, you have a message you want to get across or you just want to have fun. Um, go out there, enjoy your vlogging. Hope the weather stays good for you. I uh, hope you don't end up sweating quite as much as I am right now, but just have fun with it because that's what it's all about. If you don't, don't enjoy what you're doing, find something else. I've retired. I've been vlogging now for nearly five months and I've been learning a lot along the way. So I'm going to carry on vlogging. I'm going to carry on bringing you material. Uh, if you like it, push a like. Uh, if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe. But uh, I'll always be there for you guys. I'm enjoying myself and I hope you're enjoying what you're watching too. All right. From the British guy, red, white and blue, you guys take care. Ciao, ciao.